Clover. Clover. Yeah, Clover. Yeah. Wow. Careful. This sneaky is going through. Give me through. two, please. Two oxygen. Yeah, yeah. Please. Climbing above 2,000 meters in a day can trigger altitude sickness for someone used to sea level. But as of now, we have uh, already doubled that elevation level. <laughs> I oh. changed my mind. Oh, come on, bro. Because we below sea level. So I ain't used to being above that. Thing. Bro, you can't even survive in Colorado. <laughs> I'm good, bro. You know what? I can watch from here. How long do you go? Nah, nah. We ain't done yet. Let's, let's finish the whole video. I'm good, now. bro. I'm we'll one minute we'll in. We'll revisit. I, I, I've seen enough. What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? So we're going to check out visiting the closest town to space. Life with 50% less oxygen. You go there to train. <laughs> on the cool? You do. I, I was scrolling through, you know, how you be having a late night scroll through on mm -hmm. YouTube and, you know, you'd be finding those YouTube, interesting huh? videos. Yes, the interesting Gosh. videos. <laughs> you stupid. You and this popped know. up and I was like, you know what? We definitely got to check this out because I was definitely about to watch this because this sounds very interesting. A town that's so high up, it has 50% less oxygen than everywhere else. Ah, oh, bro. And they're superhumans. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, so being able to have your body adapt to that is rare. So when you go to a regular town with full capacity of oxygen, Ooh. is it too much oxygen? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure you'll probably be able to function even better because your young lungs and body is so used to operating at such a low oxygen. Or I'm sure be you'll be able to, to do in. more. You'll be able to probably do more. Probably so. Like your body will be like, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> being that whole strong, he can run for days without stopping. <laughs> just this nigga. <laughs> What's the like pulling up there, like just on the way, just to? <laughs> yeah, bro. When you're above the clouds, that's when you know you're high up. Bro. So you're living somewhere where you feel like you got COVID all the time. Well, for them, they probably don't. It's probably just like shit. It's normal. So you couldn't catch COVID here, cause if you already couldn't really use your lungs. Yeah, bro. This is. This is a, a asthma a, a person's yeah. worst nightmare, bro. So let's check we, this we out. We're gonna get into it, man. This, this seems like oh, it's gonna be hella interesting. Hell yeah, man. Um, would you go here? You know what? Hell no, nah, Ross. Give nah, me an oxygen tank nah, first. Nah, nah, <laughs> I would, I would, Stop just lying. to see the view, I need an right, oxygen well, tank. All right, well, let's see if you have that same answer at the end of this video. <laughs> all right, we'll see. I'll, I'll... The closest inhabited place to the sky on Earth, where people are living above the clouds. At this extreme altitude of 5,100 meters or 16,700 feet, the atmosphere. Nah, we doing this shit every day, bro. No, hell no, nah, man. But you see, old buddy, he fine. He's it's, not fine. Look he's, at him. He's fine. Who, him? But yes, I'm sh he lives there. It's this guy. He's he's visiting. He looked like he's struggling. No, bro, I'm pretty sure he's chilling, right, we'll bro. See. So this dude is the one that's visiting. Yeah, yeah, he's visiting. The atmosphere significantly thin, oh, and the locals are living with only 50% of the usual oxygen levels. Their bodies have evolved to produce two times more blood cells than ours. Wow. On that's amazing what your the body human, will do. Man, body is like. Oh, shit. Weird. I'm in somewhere where it's 50% less oxygen. All right, let's produce more more blood cells so I can be stuck. Oh, that's so. This cool. barren land, not even a single tree can survive because of the low air pressure. What? This town in the Peruvian yeah. Andes is even 300 meters higher than Mont Blanc, the highest peak in the Alps of Europe. Far from the modern world, it is a place where crime and danger are always nearby. What? People come to these harsh lands for only one reason, gold, about 50,000. This nigga is out here. How are you still able to steal <laughs> in this type of predicament? So if they're at ground level, they super criminals. Oh, right. Oh, they gonna catch you. Give me what you got. Now you have to catch me. We're this nigga, this nigga run here. right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> no! We're creating villains here, bro. Bro, these niggas are super villains. We need to not promote this video. <laughs> On the with a grill, with a gold grill. <laughs> Thousand people settled here among piles of trash, all dreaming of wealth. We are on the road to explore life in the world's highest settlement. Clover, Clover. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This nigga is going through Give me two, please, two oxygen. Yeah, yeah. 
Climbing above 2,000 meters in a day can trigger altitude sickness for someone used to sea level. But as of now, we have uh, already you know doubled that elevation level. <laughs> I changed my mind. Come on, bro. Because we below sea level. So I ain't used to being above that. <laughs> bro, you can't even survive in Colorado. <laughs> I'm good, bro. You know what? I can watch from here. I don't need to go. Nah, nah. We ain't done yet. Let's, let's finish the whole video. I'm good, me. bro. I'm we'll one re minute we'll in. We'll revisit. I, I've seen enough. <laughs> we'll revisit after, you know, just to make sure you still... They can put it in, in 4K. So you can see it clear. <laughs> Very deep. Headache, dizziness, and nausea are the first <laughs> symptoms. Followed by coughing, it may cause shortness of breath. Immediate help is crucial when rapidly progressing altitude sickness leads to fluid accumulation in the lungs. At high altitudes, the body loses about twice as much water through breathing, so it's important to keep hydrated. Oh, no. Look at the elevation here, friends. So that mountain oh. is as high as that cloud. So what? we're gonna go above Damn. the cloud. Don't worry about us, we're fine. We're gonna inhale this as the altitude what? rises. Nothing happens to people from here. The mountain is as high as the cloud, hey, and wild. that's where they're going. Nah, bro. I'm good. Straight. I'm good. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I thought um, I wanted to, but it sounded cool on paper. Come on. <laughs> Tough guy. Here they have an adaptation to this situation. Atmosphere layer gets thinner and it makes it harder to inhale the oxygen. But we will get used to it. The place we're heading to is a mining town. Deadly chemicals like cyanide and mercury used in gold processing have contaminated the soil and agricultural water in the settlement. Before starting the journey, we also packed plenty of food and clean drinking water. We're born here. We are adapted to this elevation. The normal oxygen level in blood should be between 95 and 100%. Below 80%, vital organs become negatively affected. Oh. I'm trying to normalize my current 72% level with oxygen, but it's a temporary solution as we're going up higher every oh, minute. Look at him. The, sneak is the town dying is literally surrounded here. by tons of waste stretching for miles. Nature has given place to piles of garbage. The moment we arrived, a sickening odor hit me suddenly. We are at our hotel in Laring Canada. Our guide is. I bet. Nigga said as soon as we arrive, a sickening odor. Yeah. You can't breathe. You get hit with funk as soon as you drop it. A bunch of bullshit around you. <laughs> nah, clearly, bro. Clearly, God saying y'all not supposed to I'm, inhabit, I, I inhabit this. I can't, I can't, bro. I don't give a fuck how much gold is in these damn mountains. You can kiss my ass. I'm good, bro. The gold you ain't gonna be able to fucking sell oh, because yeah, you gonna be dead. Damn. This is setting crazy. up the oxygen tank for us. What is the name of this hotel? The hotel. Cielo means sky. Use the oxygen tank for five minutes first, and after a little break, and another another five minutes. You need time. Rest a little bit to adapt your body to this elevation. When I got out of the car, I felt dizzy. I was like going to fall. Very normal. Crimes, especially stabbings and theft, are quite common here because locals typically keep their cash and gold with them as there are no banks oh, available. No. We're teaming up with two police officers to keep us safe while we're filming. They are undercover police and they will follow us everywhere we go. Marco directs us to coca leaves as he thinks it's a remedy to avoid getting altitude sickness, a traditional habit here. Also coca leaves, sir. Co coca leaves. I think they're consuming this for altitude sickness. What'd that say? Cocaine material? <laughs> you read that shit. <laughs> nah, bro. I don't want to be there, bro. Uh, it, it looks so cool. Hello, bro. Man, they got... What are those? Great value beats next to the cocaine right. material? You fucking MP3 players and shit. Oh, what the hell is this flea market, bro? What's going on Dog here, man? Fam. Yeah, I'm So y'all can see what we talk about. Cocaine material, bro. We talking about this right here. That's... Like, she's selling... Cocaine's material. Right next to the Beats by right, Dre. Nigga, that's a weird ass combination of that's, items to be selling. Yeah. And she got her mask on because she ain't trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where this video going, young man. Consuming this for altitude sickness. They chew three or four leaves on one side of their mouth. These leaves, which are illegal in most countries, produce a kind of numbing effect that helps users relax. It's good for almost. So it's illegal in most countries. And boys in this house. 
Everybody but it helps. Everybody coked up stabbing each other and looking for gold. <laughs> so far in this video. Superhumans, bro. They just super yeah, Maybe one of the police officers can carry this. We leave a busy and tiring day behind and we will explore the town the next day. We are in the center of La Rinconada at sunrise. The police officers are by our side. The surroundings are full of local cafes, markets, and people. Outside. Even though I just woke up, my body feels dead tired, like it hasn't rested in days. <laughs> Walking is hard with the dizziness and nausea. The dry air gives me a sore throat and chapped lips. As the night gave way to daylight, piles of garbage in the side streets became more visible. Even though it's summer and we are close to the tropics, the ground is frozen. In this place where the nighttime temperatures drop to minus 10 degrees Celsius, people are living in metal shacks without electricity or heating. No kitchens or bathrooms in these houses, and thousands of people have to use the same public toilets and baths for their personal needs. Like a web over the town, these hoses carry water from the glaciers above to the center. Almost nobody we meet here is originally from this place. Most have come from other regions of Peru with the dream of finding wealth through mining. The gold prices multiplied sixfold between 2001 and 2012 and led to a population boom in the area. However, the conditions are extremely harsh for the 50,000 people living Damn. here. There's been no... E it's 50,000 people willingly living here. Just to get them some gold, bro. Damn, bro. Just to get them some gold. I couldn't. Oh, oh, no. Effort to develop infrastructure suitable for the growing population. Just Every day, thousands shit. of people throw their garbage on streets indistinguishable from dumping sites. There are no services from the government to pick up this trash. People are on their own. The most terrifying problem is the lack of a sewage system. Wastewater flows openly through the streets as oh, it is. No. This soccer field does not consist of real grass. It's all artificial because trees and other plants cannot survive at this altitude. The town is located around he the mountain called La Bella Durmiente, meaning Sleeping Beauty. Can you see here the face? and the body is a lady she's sleeping here the shape of the mountain <laughs> the town blends into the sky with its chaotic that's the, that's the less oxygen coming in through your head trying to eat you see a woman laying down <laughs> same moana gray structures every morning workers walk for kilometers uphill to reach the mines filled with dangerous gases the working conditions inside these tunnels are extremely tough la rinconada is also called the devil's paradise nope. this is because it's a town ruled by illegal companies that control the mines there are signs near illegal the tunnels companies. that order to shoot those who enter without permission no matter the warnings we are determined to get inside these mining tunnels well, we'll try to see how <laughs> they work our friends they said probably we can get very close can you see the lady there the lady yeah she's a lady up there they collect the leftovers yes women are forbidden to work in the mines according to local beliefs the sleeping beauty becomes jealous and brings disasters like earthquakes if a woman touches its gold they earn their living by searching for gold in waste rocks thrown outside the mines children searching for gold on the mountain can be easily identified by the frostbite marks on their cheeks being foreigners with cameras we attract a lot of attention after this point i handed marco my phone to capture footage inside the tunnels these figures near the mining site decorate with dried flowers, fruits, and alcohol bottles represent mountain gods. Workers come here to pray for protection from accidents and success in finding gold. Incidents such as explosions. I hope those are fake. <laughs> I, said, I hope they're fake. I mean, I would hope so too. But they condition, you know. But this is, yeah, I, it, yeah. I started this video. Oh yeah, I would. I would love to visit. I, you saw something totally different. Bro. I don't. I. I don't want to visit this. I'm. I'm good, bro. I don't see nobody that look like us. Over <laughs> Roof collapses and gas poisoning occur about 25 times more often compared to advanced countries. If a mine worker dies, a company pays approximately $600 as compensation. The concept of a regular salary doesn't exist in La Rinconada. Miners work under an outdated and illegal labor system called cachorreo. They work for the company without pay for the whole month. And and then get one day to work only for themselves, taking home the gold they find as their salary. Wait, that's wild. Wait, let me catch that one more time. Damn. One more time, one more time. Mine worker dies, a company pays approximately $600 as compensation. The concept of a regular salary doesn't exist in La Rinconada. Miners work under an outdated and illegal labor system called cachorreo. They work for the company without pay for the whole month and then get one day to work only for themselves, taking home the gold they find as their salary on that day. Gotcha. <clears throat> That's cold, bro. 
how do you say ethno <laughs> for 300 please that's wild bro you work for a whole month fam for without free, pay bro. and then you get one day to work for yourself to then try to find something that'll give you a profit you beat and got everything oh i would be finding shit and tucking it away for my one day then that's cool. I wouldn't even be in this situation, yeah. but I'm saying just, you know. Yeah, that's cold, bro. That's crazy. Depending on the success of the Cachareo Day, they may earn a significant amount or even end up working for free. So their income is theoretically determined by luck. However, yeah. the miners try to minimize this uncertainty by sometimes pocketing good looking stones or hiding them in some secret spot right. for the Cachareo Day. My oxygen level is now at 65%, what? way below the normal 95 to 100%. Die. So I breathe super fast. My heart rate is like over 120, while it should be between 80 to 100. Oh. Right mm. now, a local is checking his oxygen level. His results are way better than mine. 82% oxygen and a pulse of 97. Wow. I can no longer stand. I'm going back to the hotel to get some oxygen. I'm this keeping my car on. This nigga is dying, bro, for the video. That's. It's dedication, bro. I don't want to be there. <laughs> I want to go. I don't want to be I thought that would have been a cool trip. It looked cool on the thumbnail. Yeah, I bet it did. I, so you clicked on the damn video. This nigga is dying. I my, ain't heard nothing but cons since it started. This nigga, oh, bro, my shit is at 70. <laughs> my, nigga, oh, body just like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Give me the oxygen. What are we doing here? <laughs> Damn. Stay warm as there's no heating. Now we're going to wait a few hours to explore the city's dangerous nightlife and talk with some mine workers. <laughs> While I'm that? resting, you should Take know the true cost of the gold. Each ring containing 8 grams of gold generates approximately <clears throat> 20 tons of waste during production. At the top of the mountain, an acid mine lake was formed because of the rocks which are extracted with gold. These rocks high in iron sulfate undergo oxidation when they come into contact with water and air, resulting in this deep red color. People living by the stream grow their crops and raise their animals with water contaminated by mercury and cyanide. Oh. The average lifespan of the locals living here is only 35 years. The oh, chemicals aren't... Oh, no. It, it was already at a zero of me one This is ever. really at a, it's it's at a negative. negative. Hell the only no. reason. At this altitude... I had to get it off the kid. But then that's... that's nah, what? Nah, bro. These niggas ingesting mercury infused fruit. I'm good, bro. I'm chicken. Nah. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Um, you the may be a superhuman because you can breathe in low atmosphere, but you ain't even making it to 35. That's not, nah, bro. I'm That's good. average. That's um, nope. Nope. That's why. Each breath contains about 50% less oxygen compared to sea level. Therefore, the blood of a Lauren Kanata resident is twice as dense as that of an average person, leading to potential blockages in blood vessels and fatal outcomes. After a tough day, miners are rushing to the town center. Electricity is only available on a few streets here, leaving the rest of the town in darkness. All the mine workers are here. They're shopping and socializing between each other. Stalls and little shops all around, selling everything, street food, clothes, household stuff, you name it. Kids are playing outside with endless energy until late at night. Oh my God. Oh, How old is he? Is there only primary or also secondary school? Yes, there is. How big is the school? Not very big. Is there higher education? No, there is not. After Damn. that, you need to move to Puno or Juliaca to study. What if they don't move? Do they start working in the mines? Yes. As you yeah. see, people come here to exchange their gold pieces for solace. We are in an exchange office now. To keep out the robbers and attacks, they've placed iron bars in front of the counter. Now we're gonna see how they convert gold. Let me catch my breath, man. The ore you see is the result of a worker's hard labor spent throughout the month. Right now, the gold is in an amalgam with mercury, and heat treatment will be applied with a blowtorch to separate the two metals. For every gram of gold, about two grams of mercury evaporate and mix into the atmosphere. What is the hardest part of doing this job? Mm, transporting the material. Because remember, there are many bad people or robbers, and it's not really safe to transport. What does she like about Larinquanada? 
other. Mostly there's nothing good because, as you can see, everywhere is contaminated. Well, you can earn a good income. Above the national average, that's <laughs> why people come here. Different herbal tea mixtures are also consumed to reduce symptoms like headaches and fatigue. We call that's emoliente. Cool. What is this made of? Water, different herbs, and syrup. It's really good. Try a little bit. Hell no, boy. Sipping on some scissor. It's heavy. It's too hard to drink. Yeah. We can't go more far. To there, there's no more electricity, no more lights. And it's better to to stop here. Most miners spend their hard-earned money on alcohol and nightlife on these streets. If the living and working conditions do not kill a person, then a knife or AIDS does. Nightclubs are the most dangerous spots in La Rinconada. In this street, there are bars, nightclubs, and some companionship options for miners. Not the companionship I options. I still got time to do this. When in doubt, without being able to breathe, mercury, contaminated food, water, and he's going to fuck no matter where. <laughs> he this, is, this is what we've all known about the human race. We're going to find a way to have some fun. <clears throat> Even if we in the harshest conditions. What I'm trying to say, old girl was in a little skirt or whatever, and it's like freezing. Don't matter. Who trying to have a good time with no oxygen? <laughs> this is crazy. We are at the center of human trafficking, robbery, and murder in Larinconada. If you look there, you can see the lady. There are many people trying to buy a rose for the ladies here. According to Puno police, approximately 2,500 underage girls are being exploited in these places we just walked by. The town has only one police station, and the Peruvian government isn't putting in any effort to combat these crimes. Is there a jail here? No. We call Calabozo. There is like a place, a very small place. There's no hospital in the city, right? Oh, there is a damn. tiny, very tiny clinic. Maybe two, three, four rooms max. We're now meeting with a miner who has spent 12 years working in La Rinconada. He also owns the only gym in the town. After a day of intense physical labor, miners continue sweating out. Ramiro is one of the few lucky miners. I'm trying to figure out what old boy was doing in the back. Bro. You see him? Mm-mm. In the mirror. Of intense physical labor, miners continue sweating out. Ramiro is one of the few lucky miners. He getting ready for a night, bro. He, yeah, you are right. He may have to square up with He's somebody, to get bro. Some ads, so he got to be quick on the... Yeah. That's crazy. This is all wild, bro. All of this is just insanity. Miners. What is the largest amount of gold ore you ever found in grams? 200 grams. Oh, wow. He found 800 grams in one piece. This a lot of gold. Are you married? Yes. We have three children. They are in university. Do you advise your children to work in the mines? No, because it is very, very dangerous. They rob when the miners collect gold. How does elevation affect your body? Even though I'm from Puno, I have that problem. Puno is at 3,800 meters above sea level. So coming here at 5,000 meters above sea level, it starts to be challenging. Digestive issues at first, three days of suffering. How much money do mine workers make? Sometimes it goes up, down, down and up. One would earn more or less around 2,000 Peruvian solis and a little more. Your hands are so affected by working in the mines. I accidentally hit myself with a rock while trying to separate the mineral from the gold. So you're using a stone to crush and then suddenly, bam, injuries, 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 especially on this side when you're crushing. Are there any passed away mine workers? It's quite constant. The mine, many say, is for strong men. They don't mean strength in muscle size. Primarily, it's more about it's, mental strength, mm, yeah. about resilience, about mastering and considering the altitude. It's not so simple. We're 5,000 meters above sea level. Although the dream of coming to La Rinconada and finding a large gold ore may seem attractive from the outside, most miners and their families never achieve the financial comfort they desire. The Peruvian government has been silent for years about the illegal operations in gold mines and the abuse of workers. Despite all these conditions, people continue to seek the opportunity of a better life in the world's highest settlement. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new documentaries. See you in the next video. Ruhi Chenet was here. That shit was wild, bro. Holy that man. That was crazy, fam. We, uh, we, we're going to definitely link down the original video. Y'all go nah, check out facts. the rest of his content. My man literally. Rookie Chenet, man. He went through all this. He was us. risking his life out there. Legitimately, damn near couldn't breathe just to show the world, you know, people who <laughs> don't know about this town what's going on there. You know. That's crazy, bro. Definitely don't want to go. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, no. I'm I'm stop, 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 stop. I went. I actually did win. We watched. We just watched them. We was there. Nowadays, it's the benefit of social media and technology. Ooh. You're able to be at places and go places without even actually being there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I can. That was wild. Oh, you're trying to make fun of us, huh? I can breathe We're find below you. sea level. And it's great. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's the, the interesting things you find out yeah. about the, human the world body, we live in, man. <laughs> the world we live in and all that and what people are willing to do. Like, yeah, that's definitely not a place people should be inhabiting. <laughs> you got to appreciate it. Thankful those. for it, man. Yeah, you, bro. Some people, <laughs> there's some kids growing up in that that didn't even ask to be there. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm very thankful. I hope this video makes y'all <laughs> thankful for the air that you breathe now and the conditions yeah. you live in now. That's that's me thankful. You took a deep breath while you watched this video. Whew. I, I'm you're, taking it. You're appreciative. Multiple. Yeah. <laughs> but now, if y'all enjoyed it again, we will link the original video down below. It seemed like he had some more yeah. uh, documentaries. So if y'all wanted to check out some more of his stuff, yeah. let us know. Definitely sure. down to learn, check out more stuff, and mm -hmm. just kind of, you know, figure out, understand the things that's happening around us that we may not be yeah. uh, seeing on a daily basis. So continue to run up the likes. Spray love, be love as usual. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.